Hey guys, it's your boy Gervais and welcome back to my FIFA 17 Liverpool Court mode. In this episode, it's time to return to the Champions League. More specifically, the semi final. It's an all English affair. In fact, weirdly enough, we know the final is going to be an English team. And a German team. Probably saying to yourself if you haven't seen the last couple episodes of the... And how do you know this for sure? Well, because this semi-final is all English. So, whether it's me or Man City. We'll be representing England and the, the BPL. We are getting towards the business end. And in the other the semi-final. Here we are at the semi-final stage, Alan Smith. It's an all-German semi-final between so far, so Bayer Leverkusen and... Well, with the rise of Manchester City, I think it might be Christian Dortmund? The, the Middle East. It's not yeah, Munich. It's not Bayern because I knocked them out. It's become more and more important now. And here we have City It must be Dortmund. Today. No, that's right. I mean, everybody's having to cut the clock. <laughs> no, I'm not too <laughs> sure. <laughs> No, I'm not too sure. I should have checked that. More than most, but they've got a really good side. Anyway, let's have Liverpool. It is an all. Several changes. Yeah, it is. It's Borussia Dortmund. Nicolas Otamendi plays alongside Eliakim Mangala in the heart of the defence. Ilkay Gundogan plays. Interesting. Say the very least. Attack. Kalechi Ichienacho. Big reshuffle for Liverpool. Thibaut Courtois starts in goal. It's a very, very intriguing. With Nathaniel Klein as the wide defender. No, it's going to be an English team versus a German team for sure. Sadio Mane joins up top with Divock Origi. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. The um, other semi final has played its first leg. I think he finished 0 0. Which uh, perfectly sets it up for the uh, next too high. And second. Okay. I will be hoping that I can crush Joel Matty to Manchester City. David Alaba. This life is a competition Coutinho. coming into a second leg, although they've had a better start to the game than me. Quick into the tackle. And the, first and the result is going, going to be a throw. Start. Now they've got a chance in this now, part of the my pitch. players were falling over each other. And out wide, they were in a good position until that defender acted very promptly and decisively. He's lost the ball. So he can put them in front. Mane! Almost stealthily into scoring position here. Not picked up. And they paid a heavy price for that. You just knew it, wouldn't you? You just knew it would be. You just knew it would come. Hmm. It's like my first attack. Well, it's a goal worth replaying. Mangala and Otamendi do a poor, poor defensive job, which Man City fans will not be shocked by at all, especially he, considering it's Mangala and Otamendi. All right. Um, if, if Mangala somehow made it back into the... Um, and just see team in real life, people will be like, wow, is John Stones really that bad? Fernando. And carrying the ball forward, it's the Manchester City. It could be worse, it could be the two. It's a passing game. And well, again, Ottomendi didn't exactly here. set the Premier League up. Like, the goalkeeper. Because uh, many had thought he, did. he would. Liverpool get the advantage. Yeah, that's a free kick. You know, it's hard for Kyle Walker, probably. Yep. Former Spurs man. Goes into the referee's notebook. Slide tackle that went wrong. There's foul on Coutinho. It's a slight tackle, but he just mistimed it badly. And it's a heading challenge. Dele Alli! Ooh, it was almost a goal for an hour, ex-Spurs man. Generated some power on it. The keeper wasn't getting there. Just didn't direct it fully on target. Oh, brilliant. Ah! 
Not so brilliant. Kevin De Bruyne. Kevin Strootman. Well, it will be a throw in. Now Strootman. Good strong tackle. There's some potential in Three. this. Oh, good through ball. Firmino. Renato Sanchez! Oh, what a goal from the port. He's won the kid. 2 0. Fantastic. The goal, wherever you look at it, it was very well taken. Did it take a deflection? Restarting at 2 0. Well, it's gone down as Renato Sanchez's goal, so if it did, it didn't affect the ball going into the net. Renato Sanchez. It's a real individual charge here with the ball. He's still going. Attacking now. That's how good the shot was. Attack was looking good. It was going in no matter what. And that will be Liverpool's throw in. Roberto Firmino. Fernando. Alaba. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Tino. They're in a good position here. Oh, free kick. Nerf foul on Coutinho. They just, they do not want him running at their defence, do they? That time it was uh, Kevin De Bruyne. And the goalkeeper got across to it. And again, it was another connection hmm. on the opposition team. Kevin De Bruyne, of course, is Belgian. The header came from my own hmm, offensive Belgian, and then Divo Carigi. Those are weird connections. The added time will be four minutes. Safe for me now. Well, this attack. Hey, that's gonna go absolutely nowhere. And that's the end wonderful first of the first half. As you can see. So we're a quarter of the way through this tie, you could say. And so far, so good. Two or three more goals and the second leg will be a non-factor. I'll be... I'll have, where nobody I'll be all but mistake. in the final of the championship. They'll need to try and get the ball back now. Fernando. You can bell be going out to get those goals that I need. Good to act. Well, not so much need, but one. It's a foul by Felipe Coutinho. The player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. I would be happy with that first. Alley. Oh, come on! If you're going to give him a free kick, go back. Master. Don't wait. And don't give me that. Oh, he was waiting to see if the advantage was played or not. And dominated the match, but doesn't show for anything. Here's Ali. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Oh, Walker, he had to get that right. May situation where one silly challenge to uh, get you a color, a full card, and uh, you might not like the color of it. Now the shot. Great work. A lot of players don't like the color yellow. The card. Let alone the color Carl Walker. An hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go, and 
I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well. Substitute is ready for City. It's out, it'll be a throw. Coutinho. Well, a real treat in store for you. Coverage on EA Sports of the Premier League fixture. Manchester City will be hosting Spurs. Yeah, a lot of people have been talking about this one. Looking forward to it. The next game is against Kyle Walker's former players. And they cut it out. Kevin De Bruyne. Sergio Aguero has come on now. He's come on now. Yeah. Because now is a good time. David Alaba. Sergio Aguero, the very start of the defender. Game. Mane! Off the post! Firmino! Oh, for God's sake! The good job, Joel. Good to It's going to be a substitution. It's going to be Manchester City to make it. Not rushing it here. Moving oh. from one side to the other. They've coped with it well. Sanchez headed it, but he headed it completely the wrong way. Luckily, nothing came of it. Falls next game. They're playing Bournemouth in their next Money. match. I think they'll find it pretty easy in this one. It's Mane. For me, all oh, this time. Yeah. Oh, oh, what? Piss off. That looked like it went into me. Um, hello? That is over the line. Look at this! That's in the net! Oh, come on! We have two Premier League teams. The Premier League has goal line technology, you asses! Anticipation. He wasn't going to give it up. How did the referee not... He didn't get it! A freaking alert! You piece of shit! Your shit is broken. Good challenge. This led to a corner. He's very strong-minded, sterling in dealing with criticism. He'll get a bit of stick for this today, but I'm sure he's got it. Firmino! And here's the shot. Rato Sanchez got in the way. Firmino, this time took all the deflections. There's a man's well hit every Man City player in the box. Coutinho, supporting player alongside. Coutinho. Very good. Ah. I don't think I'm gonna get the two or three goals I was hoping to get. Time nearly. Although I should have gotten one. I'm not gonna let that go. You all saw it, it was in. Chance. Origi. Worked by the keeper. Corner here for Liverpool. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of four minutes on the team. There's some potential. At least get a third goal to make up for the goal that they didn't give us. Referee is pointed for a corner for Liverpool. Cleared it well. Shots on him. Alaba! Oh! The flexion may have actually taken it away from goal. Check on the corner count. Tinio. Possibilities for Liverpool. Ah. Stopped him in the nick of time. 
fucking hell. I like that for me your shot was not even a highlight because the game even knows it fucked me over. What a load of bollocks. What a load of bullshit. I know he didn't ask to play, but whatever. Actually, no, I played them in the last episode, but no. So I'll play this team after I uh, quickly go and give my Danny Alves region in his uh, new contract, which he's asked for. He wants a one year extension as well as 40k. So we're done. Let's up him to a squad rotation player. Because he uh, might be overtaking Calabria in the uh, pecking order. Or sooner or later. You know, though what's funny, when, at the start of the season, I wondered why Liverpool even had a third kit, because I said, it's your friend, sure, if, if our away kit is black, like, oh, the teams that wear red in the Premier League, almost all of them are either fully red or red and white. And then he said that Bournemouth play in red and black. I completely forgot about Bournemouth being red and black. I was like, oh yeah. So, that, so welcome everybody. I'm, Martin Tyler, along with Alan Smith. I, I don't want to say this. Is yeah, I think so. Fact, is a really good buzz in the area. But was this kit well, we're here today made to specifically so we could play Bournemouth without? But there being That's any really kind of color crash. Oh yeah, just the perfect Except, scenario you know, for these boys. The pitch for Stewart. So it might not be the best. And I like this kit. I have this kit. I. Born One of my favorite colors is with this blue. team today. Jeffrey Condogbia plays so, with Ben Gosling in the middle, and today yeah. it's just the one striker in the side. Big reshuffle for Liverpool. Thiago Ilori plays with Vallejo in defence. And it's rounded off the team with these two strikers. The shot's on! It gets even better this, <laughs> this upcoming season. Our freaking... Our home kit is, of course, red. Our away kit is white with, like, green pattern. And you can get, like, a blue pattern as well. There's, there was a limited edition version with a blue pattern for some reason. Liverpool Football Club, we were red. We're called the Reds. It's we're not supposed to be wearing blue. I know I think we did wear the blue one. And no great risk. Really early on. It's a chance for a double for the team that are the visiting team today. Had a good win against this side that they're visiting. Not gonna go for that. Just a free kick. Things are 
Obviously, I wasn't alive for that. So this is all from uh, trying to remember. When you're sporting, you should look up their history. Uh, you know, always guaranteed to remember it. Um. And he's got the ball away from him with the tackle. Attacking well here. The break is definitely on. And here's the shot. And he's opened the scoring here. Great starts. Very good goal from uh, David, who uh, could be set for a promotion. Goal. And one of those goals mm -hmm. that makes the fans leap up in the air to see it fly into the top. When Daniel Sturridge yeah, I think he'll enjoy. the parts at the end of the season. Becoming the uh, fourth choice. Ah. Fourth, uh, fourth choice striker. So the first goal, it's one nil. Dan Gosling. Uh, my the guy I'm looking at, and I think I'm definitely going to go for him. He's a uh, 75 oh. rate, so I'll be playing him with uh, with Moya in this team instead of uh, instead of David. So David will go on for him. Condog beer. More building steadily here, keeping possession. Of course, I'll uh, I'll, I'll play around with it in preseason. And he's in there with a the header. Ooh, Ooh. up for grabs here. They'll get a free. Oh, how did I get away with that? How did I get away with that? In store for you. Coverage on ESPN. Oh, it was a free kick anyway. So even if they had turned the ball in, it would have the city. Yeah, it's not given. It. It, that one. Look forward to joining Still, you. Still, how did I get away with that? It'll be free kick against Liverpool. The uh, born of player looks like he didn't. Uh, and the substitution. He landed awkwardly the from that. And it looks as if it's like for like. Shouldn't change the system too much. And it's a heading chance now. Deemed challenge. It was really. I was just trying to get the ball. And that was could be set for any under that sort of pressure, there. despite not a very convincing first touch. Came in with the challenge, and the ball broke free. Well, the building steadily. Anyway, um, really strong tackle, and the ball's gone out for a throw. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch, and he goes for goal with his head. What was I calling them? Oh yeah, the uh, the kits, the new kits. Um, These two have got a great understanding with their passing. I was talking about the uh, white one with the uh, Greek pattern in like the top corner of, on one side and the bottom corner on the opposite side. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. You know. The pattern is green, like I said, green is a fair color. They'll be wondering whether they're good enough to see this course, through. Red. Plenty of time left, all of the second half, of course. Um, and the third kit is orange. Chance to get some, and he headed it. And the uh, the first thing that came into my mind when I saw the third kit, I was like, Is that our kit or is that Holland? Like, it, it's the same fucking orange. Like, I was like, is this to build the morale of freaking G1 album? Is it so he feels more at home? When we play away from home, maybe he'll uh, get confused and say, hey, oh, I must be playing for Holland. I thought I was playing for the club. He'll get confused and he'll actually score an away goal. Regarding added time. Maybe that's it. Maybe they're gonna trick one of them into scoring away from home. So, and then they'll tell him, no, 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 we, tr we tricked you. Good tackle. We're gonna be playing in that a lot because, like I said, there's plenty of teams in the league that wear red and white. Arsenal, also Hampton, Stoke, and it's rounded off the team with these. The shots. I haven't seen Manchester United's new. I don't know if they have any white. Pro it's probably pure. Theirs is probably pure red. 
But um, those are the ones off the top of my head. Um, none of the promoted teams were friendly. In the second period, which is now underway. Although two of them are striped. Baba. Two of them have a phone kit that is striped, blue and white uh, for Huddersfield, and of course black and white for the returning the Newcastle. And he's up for the header. Oh, and it's over the bar. Only Brighton wears a pure color, or one specific color, and that be blue. And of course, can't have a situation where. Well, we didn't actually lose a team that wear blue. Who? Dan Gosling. We, we just happened to gain two, technically. And it is Lozano. In fact, we we lost one of the prominent red and white wearers in summer. And he goes with the tackle. <laughs> well, in so anyone here. wondering why I didn't say. Sunderland, that's why they, they are gone. Challenge. Uh, I imagine no one forgot that. They were awful. In fact, we, we lost two teams that were red. And, and the last team that got red again was Hull, who were or orange. Maybe he made his run a bit too soon. Themselves. An easy one for the linesman. He was a good couple of yards. But when I looked at it, I was like, Liverpool's next game. Wow, we're, we're going for a Dutch thing this year. Next match in the Champions Cup semi final, second leg. And my head was like, I hope they, that's all. That's as far as that goes. We don't want our players fucking. Going down the street of Amsterdam and seeing what the fuck. Hey. That has to offer. I remember, like, what the fuck? Tackle. Definitely a throw in there. Well, I'll be like, no, 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 don't worry, don't worry about it. It's, this is common here. This is this is this is Holland. This is you know, That's another different country. <laughs> Imagine the faces of the fucking English guys like Klein and freaking Henderson. They'd be like, what the fuck here? And it is. Attacking well here. Cause you never see that kind of shit. <laughs> Still twenty minutes to go. Uh, Taking it well under pressure. The Dutch are great. They are. They're great. Challenges for the ball. I did hear one asshole saying it was terrible. And it looked like it made a total hash of it. Just panicked. Uh, I think he lost his nerve the, uh, at the vital moment. Coats that um, dustbin guys wear. Fuck you. If any Ewan wears coats that look like dustbin, hello, have you seen the Stuarts? When they're not to use the full width of the like, pitch here. You can see them there behind the the uh billboard looking out in the crowd. When it was shown the crowd, you could see them looking at the crowd like saying don't try anything. You can see also police. Strong moves. challenge. Possession changes those, feet. Those guys could be the sub for both of us. Uh, it's a poor cross. Not well hit at all. Dealt with by the defending side. Attacking now. One is the sub for us this season. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I don't with know. The Dustbin or Stewart or hey, it looks like the Dutch kit. And the gap between look at the Dutch kit and then look at the Liverpool third kit and then shut your fucking mouth. Goalkeepers, heroes or zeros, it's a zero if I, against his name here. I I I, I, I don't remember what I, I just saw it, like still seven minutes ten worst kits of with some danger of the same team. 18th season, I was like, too much on it, it's over the bar. And then I saw Liverpool in the title, I was like, what? Like, first of all, he said, head, 
it, Liverpool's home kit, red, how original, or some shit like that. I'm like, uh, what, were you expecting them to wear purple as their home kit? No. We're, we're, we're called the Reds. This is the second time I'm emphasizing this in this video. But our home kit has to be red. If it's not red, the fans won't be happy. I don't even think the players would be happy. Everyone would be like, what the fuck happened? Where's the red jersey? Keeping the ball moving, that's important. If we have, if any of our kids are terrible, unfortunately I'd have to say it's the away kids. Can't blank. Now that will get the opposition panicking, I think, a little bit. They could break through again for an equaliser. And that's a win confirmed for Liverpool. I don't care if there is two versions of it. It's still kind of blank. But don't come to me he, and don't come to a Liverpool fan and complain about Liverpool's home kit being red and say oh they have no creativity what, what are they supposed to put on it what are they supposed to have it as colour I don't hear people complaining about Arsenal and Man United their home kits are always red because their colours are red as well so I don't remember what channel this was because even if I did I wouldn't give them the fucking publicity unless I was going to tell you to go over there and spam them to shit so they go out of fucking business because they're clearly not football fans otherwise they know how football works that you wear the color that your team is associated with the only color the only like Liverpool can't add white or red or, well, no, obviously they can't add red to red. The, the, you, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference unless you were adding, like, a darker red, which could be done, I suppose. But, you know, they can't change the colour, they can't add a colour. Or, or, Liverpool are known as the Reds. They're supposed to wear red, red as their home kit. Anyway, I'm gonna get off this, or else I'm gonna just go on a rant, and this will feel will never end. And you, well, don't want that. I don't want that, because I'm sitting here and my room is boiling. And as soon as I hit it, end of recording, I'm opening my fucking window. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm enjoy. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.